Hello guys, what is going on? Blossom's back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives and another episode of Gameplay Day. Now today I want to be jumping into the qualifiers. I want to talk about the finals that is coming up or the Tri-Series that's coming up. I, I love these kind of airs and top drives. Eras, I almost said airs. Uh, ears. I love these ears. These top drives. What? Okay, anyway, I love these kind of eras in top drives where there's so many like prize cars up on the table. You know what I mean? Like uh, you have the old guard challenge where you're able to get either the mid Tsubishi, which I still think is one of the best cars in the game, although the value has plummeted. I still think it's still one of the best because, you know, when you're starting from 100, when you plummet, you can be like at 95, you know what I mean? Like 5% is still big, but yeah, it's still a really good car in my opinion. You can also get the Audi Quattro, which is a prize car that I've been looking for for a very, very long time. I couldn't get it the, the time it came out as a Tri-Series prize car. And then on top of that, you also have the Lycan Hypersport or whatever it is. Now, I want to say this, usually when there is a new prize car out, especially for the Lycan Hypersport, I would talk about like, I would do a prize car showcase, you know what I mean? Where I, I make heavily edited intro with, you know, nice paragraph, biographies and all that kind of stuff but i'm gonna be real with you man i don't really care about the car when the passion isn't there i can't make the the, the content so um please forgive me uh, i will open lowland world expo carbon fiber to compensate for a lack <laughs> of a uh, price car showcase intro i will do one for the audi quattro i think the audi quattro is insane like uh, one of the coolest price cars in the game uh but i'll probably do a, a review for that when um what you might call it when it's actually given out, like when you can actually get it, because right now we're still in the early stages of the old guard challenge. So yeah, uh, please take apology uh, with a random ultra rare. Ooh, I like that. Hey, Porsche 911. Yeah, I will take a pork as well. That is actually I'm, I want to max that. I mean, I, I just made the video about you know epics. I want to max, but. Oh, we take those! We take those! We take those! We take those! Oh, I kind of want to open one more. Nah, 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 nah. Just, 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 just gonna abstain, abstain. But anyway, uh, Fenir is not even called Lycan anymore. Fenir Hypersport. I mean, uh, this is really interesting, right? Because the Peugeot 908 RC is a fantastic car. I have never seen in a qualifier setting. Uh, we've seen epic prize cars, you know, being given out, but it's usually the lower end epic. You know, it was like the highest would be like 68. 69 maybe like 67 66 65 this one this car mean, means business it, it means business Hodge is being very generous with the Peugeot 908 at least that's what they want you to think I still think that although this is a very good car it will bring as much value as most tier 1 epics in a qualifier standpoint what I mean by this is I believe that the final track sets are all gonna be twisty and the Peugeot 908 is going to be useless because it doesn't handle that's what I think but this is actually a pretty smart way to do it. It's kind of like a win-win situation because yeah, although it might not be able to help you in the final, you're still getting a good epic out of it. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But let's jump into it. What is my hand for this? It's low in World Expo. This is the this is the one where people are like, it's it's hard to, 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 to get value out of if you don't have the Hennessy, to be honest. I do have the Mercedes-Benz C11. I'll be running that for the test ball. We'll, we'll see how good it goes. Um... I, I believe that the Bristol Fighter would be pretty decent for the test bowl as well. I, the thing is, I can't remember what I was running before. <laughs> My memory precedes me. I don't know what it was. RQ54? Was I running something over here? Maybe something like this. Uh, this doesn't seem right. I knew I wasn't using the Bristol before, but I'm, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be using this Merc for the test bowl round. Uh, mainly because uh, I'll get a win out of it as well anyway. So one, two, uh, yeah, you're not gonna win that, but you probably win that win and win. Okay, well, we start with three star, which is pretty nice. Let's see how far we can get. Um, I, I feel like if I don't have the Hennessy Venom, I'm going to be at a disadvantage, to, to be completely honest, so we'll just see how good we get. I mean, there is this one track set where it's nothing but drags, so I don't know how I feel about running like a, a super twisty car like the, the Lotus. Um, I mean, what other options can we run without the Merc? We got RQ52. Oh yeah, by the way, I actually maxed No Nose Car. It was the last like ultra I needed to max, so I... I decided to max No Nose Car. I think we used the Lotus Spree. Do I feel safer with this? Ah, because the thing is, I'm not going to be using the Benz for the test bowl. There's a test bowl on every single track. This one even has two. Maybe I should be running the Benz. I don't know. Maybe I should. We'll see. Uh, one win condition. Um, 
you you probably win, but you're not gonna win anything for me, Lotus Esprit. I just put you in here. I I mean, I would say no pressure, but there definitely is pressure. Maybe I should be running the Merc. Maybe I should be running the Merc. Wow! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I did not expect that to win. Um, I mean, we take those. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, three star. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I know that this is majority fast, and like, if you have the Hennessy Venom, like, that you're basically like golden for this. But I don't have the Hennessy Venom, so we'll see how far we can get. Uh, go. All right, let's see. All right, so this is the one with the G Force. So this is where you know the Spree Turbo would be a little bit better. Let's put it in here. Um, I do want to see if Mula can actually beat the Hennessy Venom on a quarter mile. A part of me is actually thinking no. So I am very intrigued to see if it does. Alright, I'll put you here actually. I don't want to lose by too big of a margin. So there you go. Three win conditions and I'll put you on a loss. And uh, the, the one mile will be interesting because I believe that the AC Cobra has better MRA. But I do have the higher top speed. So we do take the dub over here. Only by 50. That Porsche 911 Turbo is on my wish list though. That's a pretty cool car. Pretty cool bean. Wow, we actually almost won that. Um, and I think that's mainly because the Lotus is light. Come on. Oh! That is close. I mean, I I'm gonna be honest, a part of me actually thought that the Hennessy Venom was gonna beat Mula because honestly, the Hennessy Venom, this thing is ridiculous, dude. No upgrades, that's bone stock, and it only loses to my max GT2 RS by 0.06. And this has like 96 MRA. The Hennessy is amazing. It's amazing. But also at the same time, I also need to understand that, you know, um, what you call it? Ooh, oh, oh, uh, it's so close. All right, we we take it in the end. Well, that's funny though because that means that if uh, if Mueller lost, we would have lost an entire race. So that race was a lot closer than you probably thought, or than I probably thought. Okay, World Expo. I I'm gonna put back the Merc, dude. I'm I feel like it. I feel safer with the Mercedes in here, so we're gonna go with this. Um, honestly. Like, yeah, this is this is gonna be a good one. The only issue is that I won't be running the Mercedes on the test bowl. Well, I mean, I, I guess I could. I could, I could. But I'd rather, I, I feel safer having the Bristol Fighter on the test bowl. Like, I would feel safer having the Bristol Fighter as, as a ghost car on the test bowl, on my defense hen, you know? Because most people are gonna be running this and then they realize, oh wait, we can't, we're gonna lose against the Bristol. I want to keep the Bristol on the test bowl no matter what. I think I'm, that's where I'm gonna get the most value out of. I'll win these two races over here. Uh, I'll also be able to win the one mile and the zero to 100. But everything else I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose pretty heavily on the half mile. But I don't think that'll be a, that'll be fine, honestly. I, I win four races. So we'll be safe. It, it, it probably ain't going to be no two star. But we'll be safe nonetheless. 76. I'll take that as well. Uh, what's next? Porsche 911 versus Rizvani. Oh, 113. Okay, that's fine. Uh, definitely no chance of getting a two star. But we are going to win. So that is okay. That That is okay. This one's only going to be... I want to say like... 60? Ah, only 50. Wow, okay. You know, I'm starting to think that, um, the Porsche... I, I might not be getting a lot of value out of this Porsche over here, just because it's so expensive. The only issue is, if I don't use this, am I able to run both my Resvanis? If I'm able to run both my Resvanis, then yeah, we will have some value. Like, if I can run something like this. Uh, RQ41, though? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'll be getting more value out of this one, to be fair. RQ41, I mean, if I put in the Audi TT, that, that car, or maybe the Brooklyn's. The Brooklyn's would be better, low, you know, lower 0 to 60. This hand would be okay, but it would be tanking. It, it would actually be, mm, you know what, the, the, the thing is, right, this Porsche, what is uh, uh, able to provide is that it's able to beat, like, cars like the Farbaud, uh, or at least cars like the Celine. Like, these these Rosvanis are not going to beat the Celine, so I think I'll be running with the other option. I think that's a bit safer, honestly. So, what was the other car that I was using? It was an IQ 65 that I could use over here, but I wasn't using that. I was using a Targa, and I was using the Merc. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this. I feel a little bit safer with this. I'm still like really, really, really happy, by the way, that we pulled that Porsche from that pack. Like, I'm, I'm really, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Okay, one, um, ooh, this is an interesting one. I'll get, here's the thing. I have a feeling that the, the Mercedes might be able to beat the Taycan. Seriously, I, I have a feeling, dude. I have a feeling. I want to do it. 
I do want to do it. Okay, it's a, I'll, do, I'll do this first. So that's going to lose. And then this one's going to win. This one's going to win. That's going to win. Let's see how good this Mercedes is. How high am I running off this Mercedes for? I, I Let's let's see. Let us, let us, let us see. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. This one's only going to be my 50. That's fine. That's very, very, very close. Because the XC doesn't have any upgrades into it. Even if it had, like, fully maxed out handling, I think I only would have lost by, I want to say, 52 at most. Um, yeah, we take those. This is my x factor the fact that i'm putting the bristol over the merc on the test bolt that is going to be my x factor um blossom choice for a reason all right merc how, how good you gonna be for me buddy uh, i mean we're on we're on a higher top speed now yeah, only by 50 dude oh, less than two second difference only by 50 that is that is stonks that is a hundred percent stonks all right we take those all right 250 and next so next up we're gonna jump to uh mole holland drives this one I mean, once again, like, this goes out to all the haters that say that Blossom Choice is only for clubs because 75% of this hand is built up of Blossom Choice cars, and this isn't even clubs. 75%, I say, because I'm not counting the prize car. It's just not fair to call the prize car. So we got, you know, one, two, and three. This is why you get duplicates of Blossom Choice, dude. I'm undefeated in this event for a reason. The, the Acura RSX is amazing. Um, it's, it's actually so strong now. So, yeah, uh, one win. Uh, two wins, uh, three wins, and then there's gonna be a loss, and then four, and then we take those, we take those. I gotta say though, the Cadillac 16 is actually not the best card to use, uh, in this event. You see what I mean? It only loses by 50 to the HSC, and my 16 is max for crying out loud. It's not that strong, I, I'm gonna be honest. The Cadillac 16 is not the best option here. Uh, the main thing about it is, you know, if you really wanted, you know, value of the Cadillac 16, you would need track sets like, um... Uh, like the one we just saw. What was it? Uh, the one in the finals where there's a test bowl in every single track set or, or a one mile or a drag. That's when you would get optimal value because like against a twisty circuit, even though there's a drag or against a hairpin road, I can guarantee you that the 16 is still going to lose to the GTR and it's still going to lose to the Acura DNX. It's just that's how sad it is. So first of all, let's uh, ring out our wooden conditions over here. So uh, we're going to have one win condition in the hairpin, which is nice. And then we're going to have two win conditions. Um, and then we're going to have i believe karting might win but the zero to 60 difference is a little bit concerning so i'm gonna put you here put you here and put you here and at most it looks like i think i'm going to be drawing 100 to 100 i don't think the Cadillac 16 is gonna beat the nissan i don't know i don't feel i don't feel optimistic about it so let's let's find out all right Cadillac 16 yeah you see what i mean it's a draw isn't it yeah 100 100 you see what i mean like that is um sad <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, uh, I could make the hand better by putting in the Acura DNX. I think this would honestly be a better option. Um, take out the crossfire and then put in the other crossfire. I think this hand would be better. Um, so yeah, let's let's revisit this again. And this time we should be able to pull out the win. Because we got a draw. Uh, we got a win. We got a win. We got a win. And we got a potential win on the carding circuit. We'll see how good this Acura RLX actually goes. Um, carding circuit is a, li a little, a little bit less heavy on the MR, uh, on the handling, so we'll see. We take a win out of this, man. In Mitsubishi Evo 8, we trust. That car is a banger. Um, this one, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah. The 0 to 60 difference was kind of night and day over here. The, the RSX had, uh, it was way lighter, uh, way, way lighter, handled better as well. But yeah, I wasn't feeling too confident about that one. This one's going to draw, and then we'll win the last race. So maybe it is better to run the Acura uh, DNX over the Cadillac 16. This, is, this isn't much of a Cadillac 16 event. Unless you get that one track set with the quarter mile and the half mile, then yeah, I can say that you can definitely get value out of that one. Um, all right, next one, let's go. Is it gonna be quarter mile, half mile? No, it's not. Is this the same? No, it's not as well. I mean, once again, I see the same, aren't, this is such the same tracks. This is almost the same track. The only difference is that there's no hairpin road. Everything else is the same. <laughs> Literally everything else is the same. The only diff the only thing that isn't here is the, the lack of the, um, whatchamacallit, the lack of the hairpin road. This is literally the same as the last track set as well. All right, so Acura DNX to tie, 150. There you go, easy. Just like clockwork, 22 to zero. I wanna, I wanna just focus and keep that undefeated run going. Every time I have an undefeated, you know, kind of event, um, and I make a gameplay video out of it, it just, it just goes to shambles. The Bugatti would be a really good card for this event. To be fair, the Bugatti would be a very strong one. It's just that the Bugatti takes so much um, RQ. Uh, so once again, we get a win condition here, 
a win condition here, here, and here, and we only lose on the twisty circuit, we're gonna lose by more than 50, but less than 100. That's what that's what my guess is gonna be, less than 100. Um, yeah, only 50 even. That is super forgiving. I gotta say, twisty circuit, probably one of the most forgiving track sets. So if you wanna lose, lose on a twisty circuit. That's what I'll say. Uh, and then we take a two star out of that as well. Last but not least, uh, we're gonna join 70 cool coops. This one, you need four, not four, three off-road cars, because there's like a, I'm pretty sure there's a motocross yeah there's a motocross in here yep there is a motocross in here i mean right there in our faces there's a motocross there you go um the ford escort would be a relatively strong car i would say um but i don't have it maxed anymore so i don't want to use it so motocross i'll put you on the quarter slalom i want to see if the alfetta actually beats the datsun on the motocross track we'll see if that works and yes it does it was really staccato and jigger, jiggery, jittery at the end, but we take those. I, I'm still running off that high of that Porsche pool. The thing is, I love, and every, everybody knows this, I love, I adore Porsche. So for that to be a Porsche pool was amazing. Like, I know it could have been like a Farbaud. I know it could have been, you know, maybe a better Epic. I don't care though. It's, an, it's, it's a Porsche. I, I love Porsche. That's just... That's just me, you know? If it's a Porsche or if it's a Mercedes, I'm a happy camper. Seriously. All right, so 172 to 50, we take those as well. Also, you know, that was RQ76. That also meant that if I decided to open the old guard pack, technically I would have gotten an RQ76 as well, uh, which would have been an X legendary which would have been a pretty cool car. But I'm, I'm out of epic tokens anyway, so it's not like I need to instamax that. So what's next over here? One, two, three... Guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't think of the, the gameplay right now. All I think about is that Porsche. After this race, we're going to look at that baby. Okay, we're going to look at that baby. I am so happy. Like, okay, three star. Cool. Right, moving on. Three and zero. We take that. All right, one, two, uh, three. Uh, cool. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's an uncommon that went down. <laughs> I think that guy's name. <laughs> was that game? I suck at the game. I'm pretty sure that was his name. Yeah, I suck at game. <laughs> okay, anyway, 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 anyway. Where, where is that beautiful, oh my god, add and lock, please. I know it doesn't handle very well, it really doesn't. We're getting about 95 handling, which is like, eh, but I don't mind it. It's, 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 it's pork. Okay, so World Expo, um, all cars. I just wanted to see what were the other RQ76s I could have gotten. Not the first RQ76 I've unpacked. Never mind. It was the first RQ76 I unpacked. I thought this was 76 as well, but it's 77. So instead of the Porsche, I could have gotten, um, I could have gotten this Lotus Exige Cup, which would have been sick, absolutely sick. Uh, the Ultima would have been really cool as well. Um, but definitely, like, yeah, this is this is amazing. I would have definitely chosen the 911 over this one. This is probably the most boring RQ76, the, the RS6. The Macan is cool, though. I do want the Macan. Um, you know, the Sportback. I mean, if it's an Audi, it's boring. That's, that's that, that basically is what it is. Um, so let's see how it fits in my collection over here. Uh, really, I really, really, really want to max that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. 2012 four-wheel drive. And it's not been useful in any Tri-Series yet, so I feel like it will have its day eventually um i think it's gonna go down to about 3.995 that's my guess 3.995 four wheel drive it'll have its niches it'll have its niches not the best thing in the world but it'll have its niches uh how heavy are you buddy oh you're light i want to see okay 4586 because i want to see how it compares to the bentley continental which is very heavy um so 4586 compared to where is it? Great Exhibition. Four, oh, it's 3.9. Oh, wow. The 0 to 60 of this Continental really is that low, huh? Okay, fair enough. I, I just didn't remember that being that low. Yeah, but but it's, it's it's insanely heavy. So what's the 0 to 60? Isn't it 3.3? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it is 3.3. 3.3, I believe. I, I do have this max. I just can't remember. Uh, my car is... Yeah, 3394. Okay, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I mean, that, that the pack was amazing. That, that was all I could think about, the pack. <laughs> hope you guys are good. Everyone, stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace.
Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nifty, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nifty, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville